you guys, I'm Man Roman and welcome to another unboxing, but this time we have a nerd block. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of things about nerd block, basically how it's compared to loot crate, but I've never actually gotten one myself, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> Shipping was a bitch. <laughs> Alright, put like tape on paper. Also, I want to say something. Just because on their website. I don't know if this is outdated or whatever, but it said that they charge you so much for shipping because they put it in another box. It just came in this box. So I don't know if that's maybe outdated. They should probably fix that. Also, they also say, I covered my address with a sticker, but they put exactly what's on the box. So if you don't want to be spoiled, make sure you don't look at that. Alright, so what we have first is a, they said there was a exclusive Deadpool figure in it. So that's pretty rad because I've always wanted the Deadpool Funko Pop, but I could never find one. <laughs> Their emails are so loose because they get like perfectly, like these emails with amazing graphics in it. And it says, you get a Legend of Zelda item in this month's block. And then it's like, a keychain, yay. Alright, let's open that, I guess. Just be honest, it's all bad. We can make sure what it is. What is this? It says mascot dangles. Do phones even have the dangles thing on there anymore? I got Zelda, which is cool. Okay, slightly happier. I'm not sure if iPhones have the dangle feature thing anymore. I don't see it. Um, <laughs> another thing about this block, I'm sorry to be complaining all the time. It's just that they said this was a DC versus Marvel collide block and then there's only like it's like two Marvel things in and here. They said that we got a Avengers prop from you know the movie and that's pretty neat though. These are actually Coulson's vintage trading cards. That's so cute. Aw. And they even have little blood splatters. <laughs> Which is so sick. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna open them. I'm gonna open them. I need scissors for everything because my hands are useless. Holy crap, we got a lot of them. Ah, oh, damn, these are cool. Ah! Uh, Cole someone will just throw them away. But look, at, look at how cute. Aw. Oh, they got a little blood. These are really cute. Arkham Asylum Home for the Criminally Insane Patient Notes. Neat. Um, I don't really use these. I don't like to take notes. <laughs> so, I actually would have been happier if it was like a notebook type feeling. This month, everything was picked out by Kevin Smith. Thanks for the post it book, <laughs> Kevin Smith. Next. The thing is, with Nerdblock, they charge you an extra $2 if you want to go up a size. <laughs> and most of the shirts don't fit me because I refuse to pay. $2 extra. I ended up giving him one a nice one though. It's a little Taylor Smith. I didn't see that. Stickers! I like stickers. I put them on things. I actually have this Fat Man shirt. You should have known when you got this and it said curated by Kevin Smith that it was going to have a bunch of Jay and Silent Bob stuff. <laughs> I was in denial. <laughs> Overall, not a bad uh, nerd block. Not really my cup of tea for a lot of this stuff, um, but the pop, as always, is really cute because I collect Funko Pops. I love Funko Pops. I actually did something for uh, Funko like maybe a few days ago, and they actually sent me all of these guys, which are so nice of them. They're so cute. I'm going to show you guys them in another video. Okay, so that was Dirt Blocks October. October it was a Kevin Smith curating month, which was pretty cool and very loosely uh, DC versus Marvel collide block. <laughs> very loosely, but it was. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe to see more episodes of our unboxing videos and other subscription boxes that we've got coming for you guys. Thanks. Bye.